you know what, Chrissy Crew, instead of uh, wrestling with that shower curtain, I just let that work line on that grout that I wanted to have the shower curtain on. And I'm just going from there, y'all. I knew I wanted, I wanted it close to that uh, shower head. I wanted it kind of high up by that shower head. I wanted to not be able to see that shower head, the tip of it. So I just went by that. And we're going to see in a moment. I'm going to let y'all observe me putting this up. And I pray to God that it worked. All I have to be able to do is slip this on here. I got somewhere I got to go. Later on today. This is real early in the morning here. Been here for a few months. This will be a life saver. As y'all can see, I already had to spread it on. This is from the last time, you guys. You got these little slip things. And all you have to do is just, according to her directions, is just slip this on. And it's supposed to hold it up, so we don't, we don't see. Ooh. Ooh. I wish I would have known some of these was up. Oh, it's so high up. But it's up there. I'm going to straighten it up later. Or maybe have my daughter straighten it up. But so far, it like so good. I should have made sure they were straightened out. Some of them are not in the holes that they're supposed to be in. 
should have made double sure before I put it up there then. That was in order, but there's my shower curtain. And it's been up there for a number of minutes, haven't fell down, so. All right. I'll keep y'all updated, Chrissy Crew. Now my bathroom feel like a normal bathroom now. With that shower curtain up there. And I got so tired of water getting on the floor. It's kind of off center. How that window is made. It's kind of a little bit like slanted. But at least it's up there. And I just look, I just went by the grout line. And uh, I, I'm very satisfied how high it is up there. Because I can't even see the neck of it. I didn't mind if it was down a little bit. And I could see. I just didn't want to see the tip of that shower here. You shouldn't. To me, you shouldn't be able to sit and see the tip of the shower. Yeah, maybe the top of it, but not the tip of it. Yep, so got it up there. It was relatively easy. If I knew this, I would have did this from the get-go. And see, this is above any water. This water not going to splash way up there, too. So I don't have to worry about that wetness getting to it or nothing like that. Yep, just got to put me some rugs down on the floor. And then I'll be complete up in here. Next thing, I got to put that up so it can stay that shower caddy. I don't know. I got to put something around the neck of that to make it stay. Because it always, on my last place, it slid down and it actually broke my shower head. Because, you know, when you put stuff on there and make it heavy, and then this thing is already a thick chrome and it's already heavy on its own. So, all right. Put in the comments, oh, uh, what was you all's experience? Did you all have to buy these kind of, was the tension rod enough? Did you all have to buy, uh, whether it was clear, they got the clear ones, they got the black ones. Um, shower rod holders. All right. Decorating with Chrissy.